Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist Man Defoe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Man. We got to talk about it, man. Got to talk about this Corey Holcomb and Marcus situation. Um, we got to talk about it again or, or some more. Because new developments then came out since um, yesterday. Last night, Corey went live. Anticipated. Everybody ready to see what Corey got to say about Marcus and Black Ron. Because he went in on Black Ron, too. And I'm going to say, man, Corey diabolical, man. I mean, first of all, you can tell Corey feelings hurt because he stayed on it for a long time last night, man. Like, he just, like, I don't know, man. Corey, he show, he seemed to me, to me, one of them type of dudes, man, don't let him do nothing for you, man, because he's going to bring it back up. And that's exactly what he did, man. First thing, he, within the first 15 minutes, he's talking about how he's buying Marcus Akai and all that stuff. And, like, man, come on, man. Don't tell nobody what you do for me if you're going to do it for me. Do it for me. Don't do it for the world. But don't let nobody do nothing for you, see? And that's what happened, man. Like, he was he was ready, man. Like, soon the show came on, man. He went in on that boy. Um, Talking about Marcus. First of all, I say he diabolical because he assuming that he had some chance with his mama or something. I don't know their details, man. But he was saying, look, if it wasn't for you, me and your mama could have had a thing going on, man. And he was trying to say that she the, the star of the show and I don't know man he trying to create separation or something mm -hmm. but he talking about that boy mama like if you look at this picture right here look how they looking at each other <laughs> that's something wrong man you gonna tell that boy I, I could have had your mama that, that y'all was holding back from each other because of him and that's the reason why you really mad that's why he said he said that Marcus is mad because me and your mama, we could have had a thing going on, but you held them back. You held they love back, man. Corey, he wanted them, man. Look at him. That's wrong, man. He said, um, he, he said that uh, Marcus be having girls over there to his mama house, and she be out there babysitting. I was like, come on, man. That's wrong. He called that boy baby boy, literally. Look at this, man. Imagine Corey cooking some eggs in your house in the morning time. You see that, man. Man. Why you call that boy baby boy, man? You start going in on him. I'm telling you, your feelings was hurt, man. You can see it in him. What does he talk about, man? He talked about a whole bunch of stuff last night. He was going back and forth. He went like, I ain't going to talk about it no more. Then jump right back in on it. You can, see, you can tell that boy feelings hurt, man. Talked about Black Ryan. Called Black Ryan Black Ugly. So many ugly things. He just kept going in on Black Ryan being ugly. He said Black Ryan steal hats also. This may be a stolen hat in question right here. Um, what do you say? He be stealing from Miss Jonay. Hold on. What, what a picture at was she? I don't know. Because she look like she be having them hats. Oh, is that the same hat? Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. No, it ain't the same hat. Two different colors. But, yo, he be stealing hats. That's what he be doing, man. Corey said that she, that Black Ron stole hats from her out the room or something. I don't know, man. <clears throat> It just seemed like he trying to get back at anybody he can get at out of that group. He said he done with it. He ain't going to talk about it no more. I don't know. It was just crazy that he talked about that boy Bobby like that, man. He said she got a man now and all this stuff. Like he still trying to get with her or something on the low. I think he really wanted her. I remember back in the days, like, when they first started coming around, he was saying something like he want her. And he's bringing it up now, even if it ain't true. It might not even be true. He might just be saying that, man, that he want her. He said he could have helped her with her transmission, but he's like, nah, Marcus is going to get mad. He's going to put a motor in a whole woman's car. You know that? Dude, diabolical, man. Call that boy baby boy. Say his comedy garbage. He was kind of hating, too. <coughs> Poor was. He was kind of hating last night, talking about um, Marcus' comedy. Um, first of all, I ain't never think Marcus was that funny in the first place. The only thing I thought funny was Marcus when he did that skit about Corey. He was all right. He was he was silly. <laughs> Everybody can get a little laugh, but he wasn't no. Oh, he wasn't holding your damn holding your side laughter, you know. But he was saying like he be stealing money. He be going. He don't want to help. He don't want to pass out no money at them shows. He says comedy whack. He said you show up. He telling people to kind of go to it though. He said spend your money in there and go see. Oh God. <laughs> 
Um, damn, that was a crazy show last night, man. The fifty one fifty show last night. Like I said, everybody was just waiting to see what Corey was gonna say. He came out with a new shirt. Called him his stepson. That's what he did. He called that boy. Hold on, man. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. Call that boy his stepson. Look at that stepson and the predator monkey. That's what he was calling um Black Ryan. The predator monkey. Oh lord, look at the shirt. I can see it over here. Oh my god. He got him on the leash, bald head. He's stepping on him. He's stepping on the stepson. That's a nasty word. And the predator monkey. Why are you calling him? Oh, because he looked like the predator. You can't throw that word predator around all type of ways, man. You call somebody a predator, you thinking like, hey, look, you're a predator, predator. But Black Ron, um, allegedly you a thief, bruh. So now you got to answer to that. When uh, Marcus Show come on, Marcus Show come on tonight. He might have a fluctuation of viewers tonight because people are going to want to see what Marcus got to say now. It's going to be back and forth, tit and tat, um, tennis match. We're going to be watching both sides now. Um, I don't know, man. What y'all tell me about this, man? Y'all put in the comment section how y'all feel, man. I know y'all going to talk about this. <clears throat> um, it just seemed like it's getting petty and petty on that show. I was looking through the comic section in, of, of that episode. And I ain't never seen none, that many people not on Corey's side. Everybody usually... I'm saying big shout out to the people, man, who's standing up. Not necessarily standing up against him, but being real. Because a lot of motherfuckers ain't keeping it real no more, man. Um, people just... I don't know. They're not keeping it real. People just want to want to be on the side of them. Just, I don't know, man. They... They led blindly, or they got, what do you call it, man? Blind love for them. Something, y'all know what I'm trying to say, man. Um, yeah. Not blind, not blind love, but, mm, y'all know what I'm trying to say, man. It don't matter what they do, I'm going to rock with you. And that's what a lot of people in the 5150 side of the game, that's how they is. But you got to call a spade a spade, man. You got to be real with yourself, man. Y'all know that boy wrong. Y'all know that man to mean no harm. <clears throat> when he was making jokes about him. You can hear when Corey kept saying, like, you ain't call me when I got hurt. Well, you ain't reach out. I ain't care if you ain't reach out, but you ain't reach out when I got hurt. Do you want to make jokes? Like, man, so you see, it's something deep down inside. And it seemed like soon he had a chance to tell him, tell him about himself or tell everything he know about him. That's exactly what he did. And that's what seemed like that's everybody saying the same thing. Like, man. Why he always do that? Why he falling out with a new co-host or a co-host every time? Um, Craig up there <clears throat> making some good facts. Making some good facts on the show. Craig was saying something like um, he a guest on the show. And it ain't his show. So, you know, and a lot of people like to come and stay for a long time. That They think they is they stuff. You know, but it ain't. It's his. It was, it was you know, but they... Everybody trying to tell him in the chat, like, look, hey, hey bro, you, you next. Watch out. You next. You next. Man. Mm. I love that show, man. I liked it when it was better, though, when they when they did actual comedy, man. When they talked about stuff, laughed, talked about stuff. They don't do that no more. Now they just fighting. Every week, somebody do the fighting with. It's like, damn, bro. But somebody, somebody gay. It, it, it's somebody new gay every week on that show. If you don't like it, you're gay. If you ever see this, I don't like him, he's gay. That's what you're going to say about me. Too. Everybody gay, man. Of course. That's crazy. Anyway, I go live on the channel every Friday night at 9 p.m. Talking about the same shit everybody was talking about, man. The news. What's going on in the world. Um, A little bit. That's all I do. Every Friday I go live right here on this channel, man. 9 p.m. Come through and holler at me. <clears throat> hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live on Friday nights at 9. Come through, holler at me, man. Put it in the comment section. How y'all feel about this whole Corey situation? How y'all feel about his rebuttal from last night? Or what he had to say about Black Ron stealing hats? Or Marcus being a baby boy? Or his stepson. He called that boy his stepson. Throughout the whole show. That was crazy. Um, Called him baby boy. Told that boy he was going to get his mama. Told him, nigga, stay away from me. When y'all see me, don't even come around me. It's over with. It's up. 
it's up. But he told that boy he was gonna get his mama, man. That's nasty. That's the worst thing you can do, man. Tell somebody they look. You smash your mama. Or well, I could have. Or the reason why we not because of you. He a burden on their relationship. You say you fucked. Oh, man. He fucked it up. Anyway, man. Smoke my shit. <coughs> I'll let your boy. How you smash the for? Put in the comment section how you feel about this and I'll let your boy. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.